Now it's for pictures only, not video, but that was our first picture without a mask on here at Walt Disney World in a very long time. Feels great. It's a brand new policy here at the parks. I mean, it's gotta be with that new area of the castle there, that new celebration for the 50th. Now this is a brand new rule at Walt Disney World, right? You can take your mask off for pictures. They didn't say video, so I'm just using it for pictures when you're stationary and social distance at Walt Disney World. It's brand new, it's an update, and you know, I've seen a big change in terms of the number of cast members who are around making sure that we're all following this rule. Just as I walked over here to take a look at this brand new decor around the castle, we're gonna take a closer look in just a moment. A lot of very friendly cast members just walking around, you know, making sure the guests are indeed following those rules. But again, pictures, social distancing, and you, have, you can take them off for the photo, and then right back on. Now the new decor for the 50th anniversary is here and it's on top of the spires of the castle. Let's take a closer look. Take a look, we've seen some of these before. We saw that one in a video before, but now we're sharing another update. Take a look, that bunting all around Cinderella Castle. It looks fantastic. Gotta tell you, it looks like it's draped perfectly against the side of the castle, but there's something brand new right on top, I gotta show you. Take a look at this brand new decoration right there at the spire, Cinderella Castle. Now it's only, there's two of them at the moment, but uh, we're gonna get them on all the spires eventually. I think of it like a swirl of gold. That's how I see it, look at that. Just kinda swirls around. That looks so, so good. Taking another look at some of that bunting all around, you can see it follows the castle around, all the way to the front. We're gonna take a look over there in just a moment. But I love the color combination. You can see it goes perfectly with the new colors of the castle as well. There's only one so far, but expect all of them to be draped in gold before you know it. Now, like in years past, we've got this crane sitting next to the back of Cinderella Castle. Now, usually it's there for like some refurbishments, some updates, but I would imagine it's here now to help with more of those decorations on top of the castle. Before you know it, it's gonna be covered in gold. In addition to the gold all around the castle, you can see the moat is still being repaired right now. So they're still getting ready to fill it. It'll be filled by the 50th anniversary. Just look at the front of that castle. I love the look and feel of it right up front. You can see they've made the bunting go all the way around. It really looks like it's draping in front of Cinderella Castle. Just imagine what they're gonna do to it at night. We'll get back to that in a minute. From this side, we can see where they've dammed the water so it doesn't make it under the bridge just yet. But before you know it, they're gonna release it so that water can go back to buy Cinderella Castle. It's gonna be great. But while we're here, take a look at that castle. You can see another one of those spires covered with gold. It looks so great, especially from the distance. I love it. You can see that walkway behind Cinderella Castle is closed as well as they uh, you know, continue to have that crane back there for safety. We can't go any further than this, but we can go by the fountain, or the well, excuse me, the wishing well. It said fountain, meant well. It's great. Take a look. It's so cool. From here, we can get another look at more of the decorations a little bit on this side as well. Before you know it, the entire castle is going to be covered in glittering gold. As I think about the wishing well here and what I'm wishing for when it comes to Cinderella Castle and the 50th anniversary, I am wishing for a 3D mapping projection on Cinderella Castle at night with the gold decorations. I believe Disney can do it. I believe they may even have plans for it. This is not even rumor. This comes from my imagination, right? Just imagine it. They've got the technology, $6 million rat man reference. They have the technology to make those projections come to life at night. Maybe like gold sparkling down from all the bunting all around Cinderella Castle and the spires up above. I can envision it, I really can. I think it would make for a magical experience even if it's not maybe fireworks at that time, maybe instead we'll have like that continuous running show like what we saw for the holidays and the, uh, the show we saw on Cinderella Castle. The projections just stayed and they transitioned every 15 minutes. It was super magical. Now, if you recall not too long ago, Disney gave us a sneak peek of what the parks will look like at night. And they showed us a little video of some of those projections that I'm looking forward to. But rest assured, that's not all that they have in plan. They could definitely have more planned in the future, 50th anniversary. That was just a sneak peek of one of the things. I'm hoping for even more projections, more things to happen on the castle as time goes by, but we'll have to wait and see. You know, one of the big questions I've been seeing more frequently, Michael, how are the crowds right now? It's a great question. It comes down to the time of year, obviously, but when we saw spring break, we saw an increase. We definitely saw an increase, tougher to get into all the parks, especially those reservations. That was the hard part. But now that spring break's kind of wrapping up here, it's much lighter all, all around. I'm seeing it throughout. Not saying that, you know, the prime attractions are gonna be five minutes. That's not that, not quite there. But it's still like, it's a manageable level. And I see the people move running, so that's where we're going. It's not open, but I, I definitely wanna see it running. Funny how that happens. I just kind of get distracted by something. I'm like, oh, we're gonna talk about this, but no, no. People move running, 
we have to go over to the people mover. While we're making our way over there, take a look at these crowds. Again, not that intense as we're walking around here, but I do want to give you a full 360. So it's not just one perspective, right? All around me, it's uh, not too crowded. Really isn't. It's running, it's running. I wanna ride it, I wanna ride it. The People Mover truly is iconic here at Walt Disney World and seeing it running again is just a wonderful feeling. Scheduled to reopen soon, soon, hopefully soon. There have been a few delays, it's true. But perhaps this means that we're never gonna see a, a shutdown again when it comes to the People Mover. Maybe we'll never see it close again because the engineering will be so perfect that it'll never close. Never know. Just such a wonderful sight. There it goes. Oh my gosh, I love the people mover. Now I was talking about low crowds earlier. Not everywhere at Disney. Of course, there are some areas where it's a bit more crowded. There it is. It's running right now. I love it. Even the uh, the escalator here, which is kind of a more of a ramp escalator. Not sure what to call these. Let me know what they're called. It's running. It's all running. It's all ready for us. A little bit of a, a squeaking I can hear from uh, from that ramp escalator, but nonetheless, very excited for it to open up again very soon. You know, I've been rattling my brain trying to figure out what has changed since the People Mover closed. Is that wall kind of by the Carousel of Progress? Does that look like a darker blue to anyone? Maybe it's my imagination. Maybe it's been too long since we've been on it, but yeah, it looks, looks darker to me. Now, as we see Cinderella Castle covered with gold, the question arises, will these other little kind of mini spires also be covered with gold? My guess is yes, we don't know for sure. You can see Moana out there. It's awesome to see her on that Magic Kingdom cavalcade. But my guess is we will see the same treatment for those smaller spires as well, including the ones that are over there. There are four kind of smaller spires around the hub area of Magic Kingdom. I think they're all gonna get that treatment. It's gonna be great. Now, another update I wanted to share with you is that the Sorcerers in the Magic Kingdom uh, plates on the ground here and even the uh, kind of the machinery that makes it all work is still here. It's interesting. It makes me wonder about the future of some other game here at Magic Kingdom. I still believe we're gonna see something to replace Source of the Magic Kingdom at some point. I also think it'll be by 50th anniversary, but we don't know for sure. It just, it seems interesting that they would leave these here. Maybe they still remove them. It's tough to know. I think they've removed at least one at this point, but something to replace it. I'd love something to replace it. Now I just took a photo with PhotoPass without that mask, super easy. Just went right up to the PhotoPass photographer and they put, you know, set right there and then take your mask off and we're set to go. Super simple, it's definitely getting uh, instituted all at once, like everybody knew, all at the same day. Okay, this is when you can take masks off for photos. One of the more recent changes here at Walt Disney World is the change to the Jungle Cruise. And there's a certain character who I gotta see with my own eyes isn't there anymore. Total coincidence, we have the, uh, the back of the boat here. Let's do it. And our biggest fans over here. I'm inspired to go to Perth, the jungle. Shana, Paula, 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 there he was is completely on as well all the camouflage right there that is quite a change here at Jungle Cruise, but we kind of knew it was coming. Trader Sam indeed gone here at Magic Kingdom's Jungle Cruise. We knew it was going to be there. We knew he was going to be gone. It's a change. It's a change that Disney has made. And they're going to make a lot more changes here at Jungle Cruise. We've been over all the changes that they've announced so far, but that's the first one that I've seen in person here at Magic Kingdom. Now, many feel that he was a classic, and I gotta be honest, I miss him. I really do. Perhaps he'll be like rethemed. I'm not sure, but change is inevitable at Disney. That's just how it works. It's always worked that way. I feel like change is a good thing, usually, typically. Still do miss Raider Sam. I do, I really do, but change is important. That's that's my policy about it. So I know the Jungle Cruise in the future is gonna be great too. I really, really know that for sure. Like I, 
I promise you, it's gonna be great in the future, too. Now, last time we were here, I mentioned that the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse was closed. It's open again and great to see. Ready for a walk. You can see not many people there right now. Now, whenever there's a big change at Walt Disney World, there's a lot of us who say, you know what? No, I want the original. I want it to stay the same. I totally understand that. I think of Figment for a minute. I love the original Figment. Love it. New one, I don't like as much. It's the truth. It is. I wish the original would come back. That doesn't mean I don't like the new one, right? And sometimes Disney makes these upgrades, like Figment for a moment, where it's, it's not quite what guests were looking for. But in recent years, anyway, every upgrade that I have seen at a Disney destination has been fantastic. I'm extremely confident that this is going to be a fantastic upgrade at Jungle Cruise. I know there are a lot of us who are gonna say, oh, I, I missed the original, I missed this part or that part, or a character or whatever it is, but Disney makes upgrades to make people happy. That's, they're in, think about it just from a business standpoint, they're in the business of making guests happy. So you do things to make guests happy. I believe that upgrades, changes, enhancements to attractions that we know and love, even something as classic as Jungle Cruise, is a positive, is going to be something that makes us smile. On a totally separate note, I'm inside of the um, relaxation area, which is why I'm vlogging with my mask off. Pretty sure the policy says that pictures are okay with your mask off but I don't think they, that means vlogging because if you think about it in terms of like making videos, just thinking about this friend just asked me. So I'm thinking to myself, think about it from a policy standpoint. Okay, take a picture, smile, mask off. You're not talking versus talking with mask on. I believe, personal opinion, I do not have confirmation, but this I think makes sense. For pictures, still photos, yes, you can take that mask off. Social distancing has to be in effect. You're just standing still photo, mask back on, got it. Or relaxation area, okay, we got that part too. But vlogging, making video, I mask has to be on unless you're in a relaxation area like this one. 99% sure that's what it is right now. It'll change in the future, but for now, I believe that's the policy. Oh, a little bit of a change right here. If you want to get into the candy shop, which is the update to the confectionery, I'm about to show you that, you have to go this way. You, you, can't, you can't go through this area anymore since this is now the temporary area for the confectionery. You have to go out and around. I'll show you. See where it says Main Street Cinema? You actually go in this way to get to the confectionery. <laughs> okay, all right, so this is the entrance for it. The Main Street Confectionery is now under construction as updates are being made to it. I'm excited. I have a really strong feeling it's going to be a super fantastic upgrade. It says cooking up something new. That, to me, that just means something's gonna be fantastic in the future at the confectionery. But for now, you can go to the cinema and get treats there. So awesome. Can't wait, there's always something fun happening. Almost forgot to mention, when I came into the park today, I used the facial recognition. I, I should talk about that a little bit more because it was the second time I've used facial recognition. It was really fast. It was much faster than the first time. Touch your magic band, mask on, glasses and hat off, look at camera, you're in like that. It was, it was quick. It was really, really quick. Now I mentioned it in an earlier video, but I do believe that that uh, facial recognition entry is gonna be coming to all the parks all around Walt Disney World eventually. But uh, it works super well. I like it, I like using it. it. Seems convenient to me. Now one of the thoughts I was thinking about, can I take my mask off here and take a photo inside of the monorail? My understanding of the policy is no. I'm staying inside my cubby here, but right, right out there, there's a little sign that says keep your mask on. My understanding, again, of the policy is that it's outside in a park, distancing from others. Tough to do inside the monorail, right? And we're in kind of enclosed here. So I believe the policy is outside in the parks, distancing from others. And I will link in the description of this video to any updates from Disney when it comes to this specific policy. Let's take a look at some of that construction happening here at the Polynesian Village Resort. You can see, oh my gosh, here it comes. It's super fast. The platform's coming together super quickly. Those pylons making their way into the sky. Be ready before you know it. I'm hoping by the end of the summer, we see monorail running back to the Polynesian. It's almost there. It's actually coming along much faster than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a long, long time. It's quick, really quick. I'm super excited for everything coming soon at Walt Disney World. Keep thinking about that 50th anniversary celebration. It is going to be magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Again, those projections on the castle. We saw a sneak peek of what's coming, but I truly believe we're gonna see even more than that. That's me, that's me, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.